Hello and welcome to Don't Starve, a The Sims meets Minecraft as directed by Tim Burton game. You'll see what I mean in a second. <laughs> and it engineers the world for you. Um, I don't have an infinite world selected, so the world does have a finite border. Uh -huh. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You'd better find something to eat before night comes. And that's all you get. Absolutely no guidance whatsoever in the game. And now you can leave again. Your spawn spot's always a green square, and that's about it. But you don't come back when you die. The only way to come back is to find these little circles that you repair. And you only get a limited number of those on the map if you even find them. Um, this is a roguelike. Why am I playing so many roguelikes lately? I'll never know. But anyway, this roguelike and you die you don't come back unless you have circle like I said it's this little stone thing um, but even if you have that you'd better leave items next to it because um, you start you, you get resurrected with nothing I, I mean nothing so anyway uh, your main goal to start out with is maybe get some grass flint and sticks uh, make a pickaxe make an axe and find gold Without gold, you can't do shit. Uh, I would recommend yeah, about 10 to 12 pieces if you can find them. Um, I'm trying to collect grass and sticks. Uh, I've already found three pieces of flint, and that's probably enough to make an axe. Um, but what I want to do is try to find a few more and make a pickaxe first. I prefer making pickaxes first because the pickaxe is used to mine the stone, and the stone gives you more stone. So right away, you know, it's a win-win situation. Um, the map is has this interesting Paper Mario kind of feel if you look at the ocean. Um, and if you look at your character, he's, I think, two-dimensional. Um, like, he's a two-dimensional on a... Two this, is, this, is, this is a 3D world. You can, you can rotate it, but you can only pseudo-rotate. So, oh, I don't think so. Those are my seeds. Go away. Um, you only have four angles to view from. So, and it's kind of like everything has the same face. It always faces you. So, um, it's not exactly 3D. Um, the best area to find um, gold in is land masses that look a little bit like this stone area up there. You find a big biome of that, and you'll basically find some gold. Um, while along the way, you need to really pick up grass, flints, like I said. Um, you could pick up the trees, or pick up the trees, uh, chop the trees, um, but it's probably not necessary at the moment because there'll be trees virtually everywhere except areas like this. Um, but you do want to find some edible food. You have to sacrifice efficiency for survivability uh, initially. Um, picking up flowers is good for sanity. You have hunger, sanity, and health. Sanity will slowly degrade. It will improve if you eat and rest and do other things. Um, wear a flower veil, you know, um, 12 flowers. Every time you pick a flower, you get flower petals. You don't actually get the flower itself. And I know I said this is like The Sims meets Minecraft, but only because your character talks in like a musical tone. He doesn't actually have a voice. So that's the only reference to The Sims I can think of. And uh, Minecraft in the fact that you collect resources and craft things, but it's in no other way related to any of those two games. But again, I do feel this game has an extremely strong Tim Burton feel. Has this Nightmare Before Christmas feel to it, and I just can't help but make the comparison. You know, you can eat flower petals and gain back some health. They're also used in health potions. Um, I need to monitor how long I, I record this game for because I have to record this game with Fraps, and I don't like using Fraps. It's just too large of a file size, and I have to compress it with a third-party compression software program. It's just, it's it's so inconvenient, you know. But it's something I'll record. I can't use Camtasia for this game like I'm doing for everything else because um, it doesn't record properly, you know. Oh, now it's, um, this is the three cycles of day. You have morning, afternoon, then you have dusk, and then you have night. Uh, they start you in spring, so um, and the nights, the day will get a little longer as summer comes, but then it gets pretty short as winter approaches. If you're not prepared by winter, you're pretty much fucked. Um, also, the game does try to kill you. This isn't like Minecraft, that you can be relatively safe after you build a house and stuff. No, you are never safe in this game at all. 
Um, the game randomly has this factor where if it'll throw these beasts at you, you know, this is basically a nightmare world for your character. This is not a friendly environment. You can try to tame it if you want. Um, oh fuck, this bird's gonna eat them seeds. No, I wanted those. Oh well. For for initially, uh, for initially, initially I wanted them so I wouldn't starve. Birds tend to drop seeds, too. Like, they land, and then seeds will generate under them. So seeds are a renewable resource. There aren't that many renewable resources. Uh, flint is one of them that you can't renew. And if you run out of flint, the game's basically over. Because you can't make tools. Uh, you can make tools with gold for improved tools, but gold is a rare resource, too. Which is why I'm trying to find some. Um, but along the way, I'm not going to stop collecting these resources, uh, initially. Because they're useful. Okay, I just did this, and now I can make a flower veil uh, right here. A garland. It keeps you sane. See how my sanity's dropping, you know, slowly? But it says it soothes the nerves. Oh, there's a rock. Cool, now let's make a pickaxe. And mine. And you can get um, nitrate, rocks, and flint. Flint, rock, nitrate. Out of regular rocks like that. Uh, gold is uh, easily identifiable. It's a, an oddly shaped rock. You know, it goes up a little bit higher than those do. Um, sticks and grass are your two most important resources in the game. Um, it's kind of funny because you can renew both resources slowly, though. Only saplings give you sticks. Trees don't give you sticks, which is really stupid when you consider it. You can make sticks out of the branches of the damn tree in real life, but no. You can only get sticks out of saplings, and saplings never grow up into trees. They're their own separate uh, item. Um, those are berry bushes, you know. You can eat food raw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spilled a fire. Spilled a torch. And light a torch. There we go. Um, I'm kind of screwed right now because I didn't actually harvest any logs. So I have to do that, and it's a little bit hard to do that um, at nighttime when you have to carry a torch because you can't hold a torch at the same time as you hold an axe. So if you do this, and listen, oh, hear that sound? If that sound happens while, like, if, 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 if the entire thing goes, you're screwed. You, you get damaged. You know? There we go. Now I have pine cones and logs. I can make a fire now, but it's probably useless. You know? Because uh, the night's already o over half done, and my torch is 46%. If you want to save on longevity of your torch, just put it out for a little bit. Um, the map is really good at showing things to you. Like, you know, if you uncover a berry bush, there's the bush, there's a sapling, there's a tree. If you harvest these with a shovel, they actually vanish from the map. So the map is dynamic in that sense. Just putting that out there for you. Um, you can harvest simple things without putting the torch out, but that's about it. Um, there we go. Probably, I guess I don't need a fire, but my hunger's over, you know, half, over 150 hunger, 75 hunger, so yeah, I'm half starving. If two days go by and you don't eat, you do die. Um, it isn't like Minecraft where if your hunger goes to zero, you start losing health, and oh shit. Haha, it's daytime! My torch went out, but it's day. Take that. Alright. Again, I'm looking for gold, but if that's no excuse not to harvest these basic resources. You know, 39 sticks. It's good to have 40 sticks. 40, they stack in groups of 40. Um, so, you know, I, I'll at least get 40 sticks. It's good to get more, but my inventory is limited, so I kind of don't want to fill it up uh, with just sticks, you know, and things. I want flint, I want grass, I want some logs. Some flint. Flint's always good. Grass? You'd be surprised how much you use grass. You know how in Minecraft where you can, like, get four planks out of one log piece? Not so much here. You need four logs just to get one plank. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so the game is not very balanced when it comes to coughing up resources for you. You have to work for everything. Um, and that's not too... That doesn't impress me too much, you know, that the game is that difficult for you to get started on. And it, it really pisses me off that your survival depends on the gold you find. Uh, you'll see, because you can't make anything without gold. You can make these basic items that I'm making now, but, you know, you can't uh, make anything substantial without it. 
and I have a stack of 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 grass already, but I suppose I'll suffer, I'll, I'll be okay. I'll I'll be a hypocrite and um and uh, grab two stacks of grass because you just you just use so much of it. And yes, insert weed joke here, and I probably will several times, you know. All right. Grab this flint and these carrots. It's good. Carrots don't grow back when you pluck them, but you can grow carrots in a farm. Okay, so okay, yeah. As if like you can agree with me and, and confirm, and I can hear you confirm. <laughs> what am I thinking? Anyway, um, it's good to spend some time doing all this initially. But again, your main goal isn't really to start harvesting resources and mass. You just need gold, and I should be just running around the map looking for it. But, again, this is going to start me out relatively at a higher point. I know I'm starving. I got 52 hunger left. I will eat before... When the night comes, I will make myself... I will make myself a, a delicious, you know, um, sandwich. Not a sandwich. You can't really make sandwiches, but... You can um, use stuff at a crock pot. And, ooh, shit. Shit's useful. If this is where the beefalo live, you want a place near shit, okay? Because they're the only source of fertilizer in the game. Uh-oh, I harvested three more sticks than I needed. That's not good. I mean, it's not good initially. I, I, it will be, you know, but... Okay, that's just one beefalo, though. That's not really that impressive. Um, I really could use more than that. Oh, but there's a lot of... There's a good conjugation of rabbit holes here. Um, and you really want a place close to rabbit holes as well to set up your... You know, set up shop, so to speak. Because they're a renewable resource as well. The game spawns those. Off and on, all the time. So... I think this is the end of this continent, like, um, yeah, it, it peaks out here, I'm not gonna go up there and get that last grass piece, I'm just not. Um, but it is nice to know the borders, you know, like, uh, like this is the border of the water, and I'm willing to bet it kind of goes around because there's water here, but then again, it could keep going down, you, you don't know. Um, so, I, I will, in effect, remember this area if the beefalo, beefalo, this game's full of puns, okay? Like if you look at if this guy looks at the examines this log, it's big, it's heavy, and it's wood. That's a Ren and Stimpy reference. I used to have that soundtrack actually, the Ren and Stimpy, uh, whatever it was called. Anyway, um, oh spiders! You actually want to be close to spiders too, because they're your only source of silk, and you need silk to make a lot of things. Oh, hey, a guy has rope up here. Sweet, and a torch. And there's another dead guy up here who has logs and an axe. You can find little treasures like this along the way. And that's always useful. Ooh, I found the ring thing. Sweet. And there's a bunch of berry bushes around here. Awesome. Another dead guy. A sleep dart. Oh, this is a this is a treasure trove of good stuff. Alright. I'll have to remember this place. What's my hunger at? 32? I'm keeping an eye on that. I don't know what that ring thing is used for, but there's a few artifacts you can find in the game. and um, I will eat this seed straight up, so I can pick up this ring thing. All right, I'm not sure what it does exactly, but I'm not sure I'm coming back here anytime soon. So anyway, it's, this is the wormhole. Oh, wait a minute, the wormhole. I'll jump in there and see where it goes. It costs you sanity to do that, but it's a really good way to get around. And I have enough sanity where it doesn't matter. And I do need more rocks anyway, so... You always need rocks. Yeah. Again, you know, it's not a renewable resource, so you're you need to manage all of that. I'll just grab these berries while I'm here. I have to remember this area because this this axe I wanna pick up, I wanna pick up this guy's rope. That's only four pieces of rope, but you know, still it's rope. You know. Alright. This carrot I want. I want everything. I have to get all the things, okay? Alright, let's see, 32 grass, I have two stacks of it. Turkeys generate in berry bushes. You click on this, you jump in the wormhole. Doesn't kill you, doesn't even hurt you, but it takes away some of your sanity. Let's see where it put me. Oh my god, it put me in a gold mine. Oh yeah, oh this is a gold mine. Oh sweet, now that is random, but that is awesome. Okay, I got 25 hunger left. Gold! Gold! Sweet! I need this. Your goal should be about 10 to 12 gold initially. I now have 161 of 200 sanity. Alright. That wormhole is going to be useful. Okay, 22 hunger. Oh, my, my pickaxe died. Hold on. 
cashing me up a new one. Ha ha! You thought it was over. Anyway, oh, seeds. I could eat those. Yes, you can cook them. And yes, you can plant them, but not at the moment. I need a fire for that. So, uh, day's almost over. I will need to make a fire, but I have logs now, so I can make a fire. Oh, look! Examine Lumpy Evergreen. That's cool. Alright, I'll eat this. Give me this. Better make a fire now. There we go. It only takes this plus one grass to go all night. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Okay, um, do I have anything to cook? Yes, I can cook berries and carrots. And I'm really hungry. Carrots restore health and, and everything, but I'm gonna cook some berries. There we go. I think about seven or eight berries will get me up there. Let's see, seven and eight. Now I can drop this. Let's see, 20, 21 hunger, 34 hunger, so do the math on that one. That's 13. That's 108 and 21. Yeah, so 13 hunger back for a cooked berry. <clears> Though, <throat> oh, if food spoils over time, and... Um, you can't stop it. You can build a fridge to retard the process, but that's about it. Um, it's day three when morning comes. Okay, I'm almost at max, so this is good. I can mine this during the night. You don't actually ever have to sleep, but sleep restores sanity, but you can only sleep after you make a, a mat. So, sleeping mat. I'll take this. Let's see, 24 rocks. Uh, three nitrate, you know. The hell was that? What was I doing? I can see again. Yes. And the fire will still go. I don't even think I had to put that grass in, but I did. So, you want to keep a healthy hunger level. Okay, now that I found gold. Oh, examine animal track. Yeah, that's a, that's a little um, mini game. Not a mini game, but. If you follow the tracks, you find a rare animal, and it's good to grab because one of his res one of his items is used in a recipe. Yeah. Um, don't expect you to find a wormhole and then find a gold mine right, right right next to it. It just doesn't happen like that all the time. Matter of fact, I've spent seven days running around just trying to find gold. Um, all right, here we go. I'm going to grab as much of it as I can carry initially. I have nine pieces now, and now ten. I think that might be all of it. Nope, 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 there's still quite a bit more. Usually when you find this type of biome, it stretches on for a decent amount of, decent amount of area. So You get one to two nuggets, though, per break. So uh, I don't want to break any more because I can't hold any more rocks. So what I'm going to do... Where is this? Oh, it's way over... I was wrong. That didn't actually curve around. This continued onward. Uh, but the ocean is there. That's a hell of a wormhole. Usually they're closer than that. From my experience, they, they've been closer than that. But the beefalo can't breed unless there's two of them, and I only saw one of them there. But there were some rabbit holes over there. That might be an okay place to set up camp, and then I can explore. Okay, I'll set up. Uh, I'll grab this flint, though, and then I'll set up. And then I'll grab this gold, and then I'll just... <laughs> no, you have to know when to draw the line. You know, you, you just have to. All right, go in there. Go, go in there. There we go. Now let me show you how to set up initially once you find your gold. Alright, um, where am I? I'm here. I'm going to set up about here. Flowers is a good spot to set up next to as well because of bees. And bees are really useful. Um, this is actually not, the, not that bad of a spot. Okay, science. You build a science machine. And you just plop it down. Then from science, you can refine. Uh, actually, yes. You can... I need to drop something... Actually, what I need to do is equip my axe uh, and chop down some more trees. Because I'm going to have to refine logs, make chests, and then um, make the alchemy machine. Uh, it's always wise to destroy only level 3 trees because I drop 3 logs and 2 pine cones. You know. Um, but if you don't have a choice or if you're in a hurry, then you know, do, do what you got to do. You know. um, if my machine is there... I'll want to plant some pine cones around here, so I'll just plant them. There we go. And there we go. Now, where's the rest of the trees? Ah, uh, there's some up here. It was going to be a big one. You might have ar argued the fact that I could have been chopping trees as I was exploring and doing other stuff, and yeah, I could have, but I didn't. Anyway, 
What are you gonna do? Cry about it? No. We're gonna move on with our lives. And we're gonna get some more logs because I desperately need some logs. Uh, probably half a stack. So that's th actually that's ten logs. I'll, I'll I'll try to get about twenty logs because I need all the planks I can. You can only carry logs in stacks of twenty. Okay. And I have ten right now. Uh, so I'm not seeing any big trees. There's one. Another dead body, and of course I already saw that the sleep dart. There'll only be one dart in there. But um, you know. Here we go. Alright, I've got thirteen logs now. When you build fire you remove logs, so you know. Okay, where's my alchemy machine? If you don't know where it is, you can always check the map, because it will show up right there on the map. So here you go. Perfect. Alright, there it is. I need to refine uh, into timber boards, and I can't carry anything else, so I'm just going to plant some more pine cones. You do want to do this. You do want to have a tree farm. Um, then again, you can only harvest it with flint, because you need flint to make the axe. So, you know, it's not infinite. You, ha you do this is, a, this is a resource management game to the extreme. Um, I, I believe the goal of the game is to get out of this area, because there are artifacts that do suggest there's a way out. Get away from there. It's mine. I'm not going to pick them up yet, but they're mine. Okay. Two and three. If I go to science, I can make an alchemy machine with um, four planks and two refined stone. So if I refine stone, I can't pick it up at the moment, but I can drop some sticks. Alright, and refined stone, that's two refined stone, and it's a little inefficient, I know this, but I'm probably going to chop down this medium tree. Oh, no, don't pick up the flowers. If you hold space, he'll do the most immediate task. Don't you dare eat my seeds. Biatch. I'm going to plant this. Alright, there we go. Don't you eat those. Right. I'll eat them. Right. Three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stumps will stay there forever unless you use a shovel and dig them up. It's kind of annoying that way. That you can't actually burn the stump. That bothers me. Alright, uh, refine boards, science, and alchemy machine. So let's just stick it down. Yay! Bingo! Now that we're going to set up camp here, we're going to put a fire circle. Actually, uh, I need a log for that, so let's just cut this one down. <laughs> Yay! Oh crap. Uh huh. Let's make that up. I can actually pick up this rope now, which is good, because it'll save me the effort of making a few. Rope? It takes six grass, I think, to make a rope. Six or three. And. You do want that, you know. Uh, with a pit, all you gotta do is put fuel on the pit, and it'll automatically light for you, so I wanna make that light fire pit. There we go. Fire pit! Yay! Now what else can I make? Um, well... You need to put the Flash Gordon noise and put more science stuff around. Traps! That's right, I need to start uh, worrying about my food supply, but as it stands right now, it's almost dark, so... Perhaps I should wait till morning on that. I need more poo. Yes. I will cook these. Two... Three... Four... One, two, three, and yummy. Four. Okay, that's decent enough, but I can always cook one. And the berries are going bad. Eventually they turn into rot piles, which in itself is fertilizer. So, But it takes a while for that to happen. But not too long. And they even still rot when you drop them on the ground, so I don't think you can just drop them on the ground and be done with it. Oh, no, no. Alright. Now what are we going to do at night? Um, lock something. Um... After you unlock something, it'll stay here as unlocked. So, so it's wise to build stuff, you know. That way, you can always have it in your inventory. All right. I need to make a chest, but to make a chest, I need more logs. After I build a chest and a farm or two and some traps, we'll call it an episode. You know, I just want to show you the, the basics, the opening, and the next episode we'll go on a quest for shit to build, but you know. The quest for shit. Yeah, you gotta find a lot of pool. So, um, 
Uh, the spiders are over there. They might become annoying, so I might have to um, watch myself. Uh, actually, I should make a log suit, which takes a bunch of logs and some rope. So, and that's good armor. For now, it's good armor. It's not perfect. You gotta scout for marble if you want better armor. Come on, daytime, come. I'm bored sitting here. So a lot of this game is waiting. Waiting to starve. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's also ideal to be close to bees. Because bees, you, we can capture bees and make a beehive. And harvest honey, etc., etc. Every time you hear that sound, that's a tree growing. See? Look at my trees. They'd be growing nicely. I'm gonna take my, my shit. And, okay, let's take these logs, these pine cones. There we go. Alright. And what was I gonna do? Build a chest. I need I need three logs for a chest, so I need twelve logs for that. Um, small trees only give you one log. Medium trees give you two logs and one pine cone, so at least you can renew them that way. So at the minimum, chop down level two trees, so you can get pine cones and replant. Um, all right. Any trees I can actually harvest? Well, there's actually a cluster of them up here. So did any of you guys grow big? Yeah, there's a couple of big ones here. All right. Twelve logs. It's ridiculous, I know. I mean, who needs that many logs to make a chest? And logs are fucking heavy, man. You ever try to pick one up? Things are like 50 plus pounds. 100 pounds. 150 pounds. Trees are no goddamn joke, man. They'll flatten your ass. Alright. There we go. 8, 9, 10. Alright, any more big ones? That is a big one. I hear trees growing. Uh, I believe things grow when you're not around. So you don't have to actually be in the area for them to render up updates. Um, there might be a limit to that, but so far that I've noticed things do update when, you know, just as they will. Mushrooms! You can pick mushrooms and they'll grow back if you don't harvest the stump of the mushroom. If They grow back slowly. A lot of things grow back, but slowly. Albeit slowly is the appropriate term. You can attack bees uh, and get honey or their stingers. Their stingers used to make stuff, you know. Where am I going? I need to go south, damn it. Alright. Cool. Alright, refine, refine. I could make rope. Why do you want to make rope when I already have some? So I unlock it in my tech tree, that's why. So now it's unlocked, and that's good. Okay, um... One! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, um... Let's drop this flint, pick up the log, just so I have the space, and... Two... Three... Structures... Chest... Let's put it down. There we go! Now I can put this thing here and free up an inventory spot. Um... Let's see, what else can I free up? Uh, put the gold away for now. I'll need it in a bit, but not right now. Um... I'll put the nitrate down because I'm not using it. I'm not making gunpowder at the moment. I have a lot of grass at the moment. Ha ha ha. Insert more jokes. Uh, so, I got some rope. Alright. Continuously, to un continue to unlock your tech tree, okay? Uh, make a backpack. Now you have more stuff. But if you make a log, a log suit, if you go to fight and make a log suit, you need eight logs and two rope for that. So try to get eight logs. Always keep an eye on your hunger. You know, I have food to last me a couple more days without actually having to plant or harvest or hunt, which is okay. But, um, okay, I got seven logs. Did any of my trees down here grow to level three? Yeah, this one did. Sometimes trees can turn into a tree monster and the way to appease it is to plant a tree. And that usually works. The bird's gonna eat the seed. Nothing I can do about that. All right. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 you bitch. All right. Let's see. Pick up the pine cone. I don't like rotating the map because I get disoriented. All right. Let's make a log suit. Fight. Log suit. You can equip it. Then you can't equip the backpack, so you're limited. You know. I just wanted to unlock it, and it's good armor for now. You know, everything's for now. Structure, you can unlock everything just by, you know, doing stuff. Um, let's see, food. I want to unlock many things here. Uh, I don't care about the basic farm, but the improved farm is really useful. 
I need more shit for that. I need more shit. Yeah, literally, I need more shit for that. Um, pick up these sticks now. All right. I I don't think the beefalo are going to be that useful to me, sadly, because if there's only one, he might renew my shit, but. You know, he's not going to breed more, and you do need to kill some beefalo eventually to get um, their fur and to make winter stuff. You know, He's been busy shitting. Nice. I got six shit already. It's only one. Not a very pleasant spot. So if I kill him... Oh, no, there's two. Oh, oh there's three. Oh, good, good, good. You guys can breed now. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, did I explore all this? No, this is new territory. Alright, um... I can get some grass, man. Trust me, the grass joke never gets old with me. And if it gets old for you, well, this is my game, not yours. So, play your game how you want and leave me to mine. You can only catch dragon uh, uh, fireflies with a net, and you can only make net with silk. You gotta harvest silk. I gotta make food, though. When I, after I make my renewable food resource, my farms, and my drying racks, which all require a lot of shit, literally, then, again, the shit joke's not going to get old either. Oh, I didn't pick up my spear. I'm going to have to kill him with this axe. Maybe, maybe they won't notice me. There's my spear. Get the spear. There. I got my log suit on. You're going to die. Silk! Yes! You can antagonize the nest and more can come at you, and the nest can grow bigger up to level 3, and then after level 3 it can become a queen, and the queen will plant another nest. It's it's, it's a bit silly. Now, sometimes they don't... Oh, crap, I just ate meat. I lost 20 health out of that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, now, there's nothing in the nest right now. I can smack it, nothing happens. It'll grow bigger. Um, I need more spiders. Okay, I got three seeds right now. Oh, shit. Fuel! Log! That was my last log! That's okay, I have a piece of grass. And I gotta get more logs. Alright, I... I'm just gonna roast some berries. I need charcoal as well. Um, because charcoal makes the cooking, the pits and the drying racks. And to get charcoal, you burn trees. You burn trees to the ground, actually. So you need two tree farms, one to harvest for logs and one to harvest for charcoal. Alright, 142. Oh, hello. They got pills for that now. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. I still have my carrots. Uh, I'm trying to hold on to those because they can restore health, but I should probably cook them. But in the crock pot, I want charcoal first. So, um... Food! Improved farm! Alright, let's plop that bitch down right about here. Right, now I can plant a seed in it. Yay! You can also fertilize it, but... Anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the spider web up, because it's taking up inventory spot for now. Alright. Four. I can't make another improved farm um, at the moment. Yeah. Take stone, though. Regular farms just take logs, so that's why you might want to unlock that one. Um, what I need to unlock is the drying rack and the crocker. See, six charcoal and two charcoal. What? Uh, so, cut stone... I have everything I need for the drying rack, except the charcoal. So... I'm gonna have to make some charcoal. How many pine cones do I have? Fifteen? Okay, I'm gonna fashion me a torch. You can always make a torch. And I'm probably... Actually, I'll burn my berry bush if I do this. Uh, let's start up a new plot. Alright, this will be my charcoal place right here. Yeah, it'll burn that grass tough too, but oh well. Alright. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I usually do ten trees for charcoal. It just makes me feel better. Nine and ten. Don't expect to get many pine cones when you burn trees, okay? But, I wonder if I can plant them down here. If I can plant one there. Alright, there we go. Let's just plant these around there, and chop some of these down. I need logs. Uh-oh. There we go. You'll see. It'll all come together in a minute. Anyway, this isn't the most efficient, but I don't want to wait. I need logs now. 
There we go. Uh, I could make a shovel now to unlock it. Uh, you need a, a, a science machine to make a shovel initially, which is really stupid, but whatever. You know. Butterflies, kill them, get their wings. Their wings are used to he make healing salves. Their wings plus ash, plus something else. Uh, that's a common ingredient, I can't remember what. Anyway, healing salves are useful, especially if you're going on long trips. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. I should probably wait on these trees to get bigger, just so I get more pine cones and stuff. All right. Now uh, I need charcoal, so at the moment um, I could make. Since there's a rabbit hole up here, and it's local, if you go to survival and make a trap, uh, you can set it here. There aren't that many rabbit holes around here, but I might as well exploit the ones that I can. Takes two sticks and six grass. Six grass just to make, just to make that, you know. I'm gonna pick up that carrot. All right. Just wait on that. All right. Um, all you have to do is wait for these to get to level one, because um, you don't really care about pine cones so much when you get charcoal. So I'll just harvest that. Why not? I need sticks anyway. They're very useful. The quicker I harvest, the quicker it'll grow back, and I get more sticks. Hello, Mr. B. Alright. Um, charcoal time. Come on, grow, bitch, grow. While I'm waiting, I could probably kill a forest up, up here that I'm not using for charcoal. Um. Which is up here. Um, it's not that much. Actually, I'll just cut these trees down. Besides, they're, they're level 3 trees, pretty efficient. Um, and I could use the logs anyway. And the pine cones, too. If they weren't level 3, I would just burn them. But anyway, like I said, I, it's better just to grab level 3s. Um, looks like I will need to make a new axe. Yep. Good thing I made a flint run. I have 29 flint. Usually I have over a stack by now, but that's alright. When you narrate the game, it's a little bit harder to play. I can't carry any more logs. That's okay. I'll come back for you. Hello. <laughs> it's not like he's going to say anything in return. Yeah. Alright. Uh, how are you going? Uh, just a few more. Just pop up level ones and I'll get the charcoal. Uh, go away. My seats. Okay. And... Might as well search for more shit while we're waiting. The flies give away when you're close. And, uh, I don't think the beefalo have migrated this way. Yeah, yeah, they're all the, on the other side. But the grass does grow there. If you ever need to scout for grass. Well, the beefalo do shit quite often. See? So... They're, they're, they're passive unless you attack them, or until, unless it's breeding season, and you don't want to fuck with them. Um, I heard flies. Yep. No. Where are you at? There you are. That disorients me too much, though. I have to go back. Any more? Oh, you know there is. Come on, Beefalo, where you at? I didn't have to travel this far last time to see all you. You were just all up here in a herd, and I was swimming and shit. Come on. I need your stuff. You can make more for me. I know you can. Just eat grass. Stuff your face, man. Come on. Do it. Do it now. Look at these trees, man. Anyway. Alright, well, I got a couple pieces while I waited, so we're alright. We're close. Now I can make another farm. Oh, spear time. Um, go for the eyes. Drop. Oh, those glands. Those are good because um, they um, those are healing for healing stuff. All right. Uh, f survival food. 
I could unlock a basic farm right now, but I'm going to build another advanced farm. It's good to have four advanced farms. Alright. I could plant a seed. Put the other seeds up in here for now. Are you all grown? You are all grown. How about that? Torch. Lay it on fire. Yeah, you, you catch on fire pretty quick, so, you know, get out of there. Lose some hit points. That's going to be ash. And that's ash up there. Ash blows away after a very short period of time, so you do want to collect it when you see it. I might lose that piece of ash. Yeah, the wind just blows it away. It's it's annoying. All right, and since I my and oh look, I caught a rabbit up there. I didn't. That did not go unnoticed. I'm gonna drop these pine cones, and I'm gonna get this charcoal. Oh my god! I need. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna roast this berry. Eat these three berries, and now I'm gonna roast a couple carrots. Okay, uh, 100 food, 112 food, 37 life, 40 life, so 3 life, and do the math on that. Okay, uh, 24. I'm not using my brain right now for a constructive purpose of counting. I'm just trying to stay alive. Alright, there we go. That's that's close enough to full. Alright. The garland wreath is um, stale. You know, uh, They don't last forever. It, things just don't last in this game. Come on, day, come. Come come faster. Come faster, day. You can sleep to regain sanity, but this garland wreath is working right now to offset it until it destroys itself. So, Alright. What was I doing? I was grabbing charcoal. And now I have to go and get bunnies. Yay! These pine cones are renewable. There we go. Seven, eight. You need at least eight to build a drying rack and a pot. So, all right. Now, let's do this. Uh, food, drying rack, and pot, crock pot. I need three chiseled stone for that. So let's refine chiseled stone. One, two, and I'm out of actual rocks. That's not good. Food, crock pot. Let's put that in let's see. good spot for it. Because I say it's a good spot for it. Food! Drying rack! Alright, let's do this. Can I build on the drying rack? No, I need rope. I can refine rope. I do have the grass for it. It's good to have more than one drying rack. I prefer four. Alright. You can dry this monster meat if you want. But monster meat's not healthy to pick up and eat. You know, it's not. It's not a good item. Alright, I'm gonna use the crock pot right away and put four carrots in. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna cook them. I'm gonna put my spider glands up for now. And there we go. And I'm gonna dry this meat, this monster meat. Just because I can show you what it you know, dry in the process. 13 pine cones, alright. I do need to plant more because I'm going to need more charcoal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, and now let's go grab a bunny. There we go, I got a bunny. I'm gonna murder him for meat. First I'm gonna grab this sapling. And I think I'm out of I'm running out of logs, I only got nineteen left. Then again, twenty is a stack. So Oh, I caught another rabbit already. Sweet. You can make rabbit earmuffs if you have two live rabbits. But if you kill them you just get the meat. But I'm j i am I just want the meat. So uh, traps do have durability and they do wear out over time. Alright, let's kill these rabbits. Murder rabbits. Hey, it's survival. It's you or me. It's gonna be you. Alright. Ooh, look what I just made. Ratatouille out of four carrots. <laughs> oh, 
All right, I got I got stuff, man. I got these pine cones. Sweet. All right, um, I have the basis for my economy going, so I think I'm going to stop the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you later.